of Australia and uh, I'm trying to get this close to the fly screen hat I'm wearing so you can see the joy of the flies. Can you see the flies? This is the real Australia. Fly hell. <laughs> They're just swarming all over me. And uh, it's really pretty out here, but man, I'm just uh, I hope I'll move the camera so I hope you can see all this. Flies, flies everywhere, flies getting in my ears and stinging my eyes. <laughs> They're everywhere. They're all over. So if you're thinking that you want to travel to Australia and camp around the country, well, a couple of things. First of all, you can't. Uh, most of the shires on the west coast have strict no camping policies except in designated caravan parks only. Uh, tell me some politicians don't own stock in caravan parks. I, I'd like to make a bet on that one. And uh, there are a few little rest stops like this one here where uh, you can camp for 24 hours. But um, they're all in the, mainly in the interior. And they're fly hell. Uh, seriously. I'm just I'm covered in them right now, just sitting here. And this is like 6:30 in the morning. Oh yeah, and here's the wonderful hubby. I'm gonna try to get close to him. You can see all the flies. Not only that, okay, it's windy. Yeah. All right, it's really, really quite. It's not super windy, but there's a big gust of wind, and you think they're blowing away. Nah. But no, because there are a billion of them, it just blows more over there onto you. Yeah. And the ones that were onto you now are over there, but it doesn't matter because there's a constant stream of uh, flies. But you see, it's really pretty country. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's also going to be about 40 degrees here in about an hour and a half. And it's 40 Celsius, so that's over 100 Fahrenheit. But yeah, temperature. I just wanted to show you the flies. There are giant flocks of uh, uh, the white galahs. Well, no, the white galahs aren't galahs, so I don't know what the hell they are. Actually. Parrots. Some sort of parroty, parroty thing. Look at them all gathering on my hand right there. It's just unbelievable. It's just crazy. If you stay still, yeah. you become a fly zone. If you're going to do this madness that we've done, one of these absolute necessity at least it keeps them from crawling up your nose and into your eyes and in your ears because they will uh... Oh, the other day I uh, was picking my ear and uh, something black came out and I realized it was a crushed fly uh, I crushed into my ear and because there were so many it just uh, didn't even notice <laughs> and then when I got onto a beach somewhere where it was slightly less fly that was a uh, carafa uh, yeah, I realized I had a crushed fly in my ear for at least a day. Well, you really can't go to the beach at Karatha. You have to go like 16 clicks from there and go to Dampier. Which, by the way, is a very nice beach. Like, bath water. And this is autumn here now. We're getting... Uh, yeah, we're approaching winter now. It's about March 15th, I think. Today's Monday. Kind of starts to lose track. of the Tuesday. Oh yeah, today's Tuesday. I think it's March 15th or 16th, but sometimes if you... We've been doing this for a few months now, so you kind of start to lose track of the days. <coughs> you get like Crocodile Dundee, it's, it's autumn. That's where we are. We're at the Streckfuss Rest Area. My God! Which we think probably stands for a lot of bloody flies. Rest or, Area. Yeah, look at them. They just clustering right there on my hand for some reason. No, this is the car. Yeah. Oh, I do. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you the bits that most tourist people won't tell you about, and that is the, uh, the reality. The reality of you trying to... You don't get to park anywhere, or camp anywhere. You can't drive off the side of the road and camp. 
you've got to go to either a hotel or horrendous caravan parks, which aren't that expensive, but they're just awful places. We stayed in uh, Karatha Caravan Park Friday night, and or Saturday night, oh, I can't even remember now. Saturday night, and I swear, uh, I didn't get a wink of sleep. It was like living across the street from a drug house, cars in and out all freaking night. Don't know where they were going in the middle of the night around Karatha because there's nothing freaking open. Uh, nothing to do. Nothing open. I don't know. Maybe they all worked in the mines or something. They were going to work in the middle of the night. I doubt it. There's just way too many cars. There was some jerk. And uh, sounded like young teenagers or early 20s walking around with their little dog trying to wake people up, screaming and having their dog bark and stuff in the middle of the night. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. So don't, if you do go to Karatha, do not stay at the Karatha Caravan Park. Uh, it, it was just a bloody nightmare. So, anyway, the real Australia for you is uh, this. It's beautiful, but it's not for everyone. No, it's definitely not. Admittedly, we are in the craziest place you can go to. I mean, we are literally. It's definitely not for everyone, though. This is Marble Bar. This is the hottest place occupied territory. Apparently, yeah. World. Marble Bar is the hottest occupied place. And even place. Australians that are used to this kind of stuff say this is a place that they don't go to. Um, because the flies are. I mean, the flies are bad everywhere. This is special. Yeah. And see this big bright thing up here? In about an hour, it's going to be your worst nightmare. So. And it's autumn. Just remember that in many of the places you can't camp except in caravan parks. If you get caught, then Ranger Rick will come move you along. And or uh, find you $100 each. Yeah, in some places it's 1000 says on the sign. But at night time, when the flies go away, and they go away like that... Then the mozzies come out. And the mozzies come out and play, although if it's windy they don't... It's not too much of a bother. Yeah. And it's beautiful apart from the fact that the, uh, the air is like a blow dryer. Uh, and I know people say that about all sorts of places, but here, that's actually true. Yeah, it felt like opening an oven door last night when the wind was blowing. So if you try and sleep in anything that hasn't got maximum ventilation, you are going to bake. Last night, I tried to sleep in a dome tent. There was not, I mean, there's a little bit of a breeze coming through it, but within three minutes, I was out of the tent, covered in sweat. We had to put the fly screens up on the car doors, sleep in the car to get the blow through, because we couldn't get the big tent, or we didn't have time to get the big tent up, which is nothing but a giant fly screen. The big tent is just nothing but that, because without, the, without wind constantly hitting you, Honey, see if you can get the way these flies are just swarming me. They're just... Really. And you know what? I've had a shower. I had a shower yesterday. Yeah, we had uh, a shower like before... Last we, night, yeah. just before we got here. So, it's not that uh, I'm dirty or anything. It's just the flies are, you know, Everywhere. pretty special. It's pretty special flydom here. Yeah. So, uh, oh God, look at my feet. Oh no. They really have, my feet are swollen as well from sleeping in the car, but yeah, they're, they're everywhere. So, really seriously think about if you want to try to camp your way around Australia. It's, uh, people told us, oh yeah, I'll come do it, it's great, you'll love it, you can pull and camp anywhere. Well, that was 30 years ago, and you can't do that now. So yeah. just beware, there are probably better places around the world to go and camp your way around if you want to, where it's yeah. just easier and Ranger Rick's not threatening you all the time and, you know, not a hundred to a thousand dollar fine for doing it. So yeah. take care, peace out.